Hey, it's Mark from MakeTheMostOfMassage.com, and today I'm at Bobby Kiesbach's house. She's a massage therapist. She's been doing it for a long time, very successful, and I want to show you what it's like to run a very successful home uh, business. And here we are. We're at the front door. It's a nice sign there. And let's see if Bobby's in. There's Bobby. Hi, Mark. How you doing? Good. Come on Good. In. Hey, thanks for being on MakeTheMostMassage.com today. Sure. <laughs> um, and today we just want to, I want to have, um, take you, I want you to take me around mm -hmm. and show me what it's like, what your home office is like, mm -hmm. and what are the key things to developing a home office. Sure. So um, when we start. Well, come on yeah. in yep. and have a seat. Okay. Um, and I will say when I was looking to buy a home, and I wanted my office in it, um, I saw a lot of twins, which weren't working for me because I have a lot of people who are injured, and I don't want to take them upstairs. Besides, it gets a little private to walk up to somebody's right. bedroom area. And this one was perfect because I've got an area out here where I first meet with the clients, and we can go through their intake form and talk and make appointments and then we can go into the massage room and do the massage and then I put a bathroom in. There wasn't one in here. And after oh, nice. I um, put in the bathroom, it turns out that my oh, water nice. bill went up by half because people really want to use the bathroom. They just didn't <laughs> right. want to go upstairs. <laughs> well, it's very cozy here and it feels very private. Yeah. So you've done a very good job of creating privacy in the... Yeah. Thank you. So, and I have to mention that Bobby is moving in the next yeah, couple they, these months. Yeah, filled with massage rooms. Right, so she had, <laughs> so we're in the process of seeing that. So, okay, so this is your way, this is where you do the intake, mm -hmm. and you would, that would take you like 15, how long would that usually do intake for? Um, usually I try to keep it brief, to okay. under 10 minutes. Okay, and the people that are coming to you are direct referrals, like people you know because they're coming to your house? Either they're, yeah, people I know or people who have been referred. I don't advertise in normal ways, so I don't get anybody that I don't know through somebody. Okay. Yeah, we're going to get into that next video because Bobby's going to tell you how she built her business. So uh, so can you take us into the sure, massage room? Okay. So it's nice that everything's together. Your waiting room, the bathroom, just right there. There are people who after a few visits say, oh, do you live here? I mean, they're really not <laughs> they really think aware. It's, yeah. Yeah. So this is really nice. So did you do all the painting? Is that I what? did. Oh, that's really nice. And so you told me before, this this wall here was just it was lined full, with, yeah, yeah, with I all had, your... Yeah, I had 16 certificates, eight on each side. Certificates of continuing ed or yeah. my other licensure that I've gotten. Um, I'm a personal trainer that was up there. Right. And then classes that I thought were really important to me. So, and do you think that's like necessary or do you think that's just a nice added touch to have your professional credentials? Well, I have to have that one. You have to have that one. That's true, right? So that after it. that, you know, people would kind of be impressed. Like, oh. and it <laughs> right. makes it, and, and over there also was um, the anatomy chart. Okay. Uh, the muscle chart. Gotcha. So it, it keeps it professional. Gotcha. Um, it's it's a nice, warm, cozy room, but it's a professional's room. Right. So um, the people come in here, and then they always, obviously they could use the bathroom before. And did you have, like, did the water thing? Do you give clients water or that kind of stuff? Or is that – because your uh, kitchen's right there, right? So I can, always get – after the massage, Yeah. Um, say, drink lots of water, would you like some? Gotcha. And give them a bottle of water. Okay. Um, yeah. Lately, so give a, a lot of people nice. have not wanted to take the bottle of water because it's in a plastic bottle. Gotcha. But um, yeah, that's that's what I've done for twenty years. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, what are the key things when you're thinking about doing a home massage business? Like, what are the, like the key elements that you would say you, you really have to know and do? Um, when I first started, my mailman gave me this and said, you're doing massage in your home? Take this. <laughs> how, <laughs> so, how old is that? <laughs> when? How old is it? 20 years old. Oh, that's classic. That's awesome. No, only 15. <laughs> oh, 15. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, yeah, you've got to have some element of, do I know this person? Am I safe? I was living here by myself. Right. Um, 
And they have to feel safe because I was going to have a male massage therapist work here while I was away for the winter. And I asked a bunch of my clients and they said, I wouldn't feel right going into an empty home with a man that I don't know. Wow. So y you have to figure out how to make them and yourself feel safe. Um, I establish hours. I work 7 a.m. to 5 p.m., Monday through Friday. Eventually, I took Thursday out of the mix. I've been fortunate to be busy enough for them when they say, well, I work. When am I supposed to come? I can give them somebody else's card. Right. But they take sick day or sick time. I have to leave work early. You know, it, it still has filled my books. But even if you can't do that, when I started, I worked two nights a week plus my days right and um but it was specific i work tuesday and thursday till nine or else i've heard a lot of people have issues with i'm working all the time right or i never ha i never know when my time is free so that's been important for me right so you've been very successful i know this with making uh, clients conform to your schedule the 7 a.m is an example of that right like you were like nope i'm not doing the late night massage get up, get here if you want a massage. And my 7 a.m. slots are pretty full. Yes. But understand, there it's usually runners. I was going to say that. <laughs> get up to... at 5.30, do their run, and Excellent. come here afterwards. It's, right, it's perfect for them, right? It's a different <laughs> yeah. kind of crew. Yeah. A workout crew, like if you're at a fitness center, or if, you have, or if you're drawing from a fitness center, that might be a, a the same kind of people that would come. Right. To an earlier appointment, right? So, right. So you have to. So you have your referral basis referring to from a home office. So you know exactly who's coming in here. You also said that the people that they're they're also concerned, like they, like having a male therapist here. That's not you. Would have been an issue for them. Right. So um, when you're when you're away, you just you basically shut down your business. Yeah. For the most part. And then when you come back, I mean, you have a nice little thing you do that you told me about. Could you tell them what you do just to make sure the clients come back? Because Bobby goes away for, uh, it was a month and it was two months. Now it's three months. Now it's like right. forever right. <laughs> kind of thing. Right. So I always send out a postcard before I left. Um, my massage prices are on the mirror here so that people know. That's usually not in front of it. Okay. Um, how much it is. And I, I think that that's helpful. Um, so when I send out my postcard, I always offer four massages for 265 Okay. My postcard offers four massages for 250 and then I'll be leaving. So... They, it's, it was usually around Christmas time. It was easy to right. buy a gift or, you know, just buy them. And then they still have some to use when I come back. Then before I come back, a month before I come back, I send out another postcard saying I'm coming back, and it's the same special, two for four for two fifty, and um, they sold like hotcakes. So it was a way to tell people I'm coming back and to kind of get them back by a cheaper price. Right, and it helps that you don't suck. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. <laughs> so they're going to come back probably with or without the cheaper price, but it's, it's a nice kind of thing. It's, that, an, yeah. it, it's an inducement well, it, and encouragement. An inducement, and it, right, and exactly, and it gets them to sign up before, right, when right. You, before you're back. Your, your book is full before you even come back. So oh, you, full. The and first that's, two weeks are full. And that's and a great that feeling. No, cool. Yeah, knowing you're away and that your, your schedule's full. So. Right. And I put a cute cover on the postcard so right you know maybe one of my paintings that was in one um oh, that's pretty yeah yeah so and then just in terms of like someone coming into your office like so you, would, you don't have a handicap ramp there obviously right so do you have people that have trouble do you have elderly people coming in ever and, and how do you handle that i do but i don't have anybody the only people i have who use a wheelchair um they don't have to be in a wheelchair all the time. Okay. So I do have people that can, I remember a friend of mine, I, I didn't know her then, she was referred to me, and she was in a um, motorcycle accident when she was 19, I think. Now she's in her, I think she's 60 now. And um, the first time she came, she had asked me, are there steps? And I said, yeah, there's three. And she got here and she walked in. She said, five. <laughs> <laughs> and then came, no. <laughs> came weekly for years right. after that. Right. Five important to her, not so much to you, right? Yeah, yeah. 
Wow. Okay. So you were able to get around the fact that some people had some kinds of issues, like challenges getting up. I mean, there's ways to help them up and things like that. Mm -hmm. The other thing too is like, you know, we talked about your, when you first walk in, there's your office. So let's say someone doesn't have that uh, option. What would you say, is that okay to have like, like if someone has to go through your home or whatever, town home or whatever you're living in to get to your office in your house? Is that, would that be a no-no for you or how would you handle that? Uh, as I said, I have to have my comfort and they have to have their comfort. And I have heard often that it's not in their comfort right. to go upstairs. If it works for you, great. And I've known therapists who right. have it in their home upstairs. Right. Um, I think it's more difficult to right. uh, bring people in who don't know you. Gotcha. So, okay, so those are some great tips, and I thank you for letting us, uh, letting me talk to you. And we have some more coming up with Bobby because she's awesome. She's been very successful as a massage therapist. She's going to semi retirement, are we saying? Uh, yeah, we're going to say that. Semi retirement, but you never know with Bobby. <laughs> she, I don't think she can stay away. So, more to come. Thanks for watching. Make the most of massage.com.